Time for the next final then. <clears throat> Let's see if we get as uh, a good a battle in this one as we did in the pre-final. It was uh, great stuff and it was close right to the end. These are Senior Performance Mid and Tag Restricted Light. Their final in the continuation of the 2024 Championship season for Orange Car Club. <clears throat> On track we have in one, Angus Downing. Out of two, Cohen Weaver. And from three, Cale Johnson. That's the uh, sighting lap completed then. Now it's on to the formation lap. Alrighty, down the hill they go. Now to slow it all down and get ready for a uh, formed up. One tram line and one knot. Cale Johnson will start behind them. Angus Downing and Cohen Weaver will share that front row this time. Angus Downing has the pole. And uh, Cohen Weaver will be from the outside suicide, but I'm fancying he might well uh, go on the beer of the bang and go for a lead. He's uh, had some great starts all day. Let's see what he can do. P plater as well, remember. Cale Johnson is also a P plater. They might well be coming off the P's after this meeting because they're looking fairly experienced now. Had some great races and uh, getting faster and faster as well, so we're nearly ready to go. Alrighty, on they come then to Copperhead, the front straight away. Get ready to turn fuel into noise and go green light racing. Oh, this time Downing gets the start. Weaver was nowhere to be seen. And Downing said, thank you very much, I'll have the whole shot. Cale Johnson slots into three. Now Weaver has got work to do to stay with Downing right to the end, or if not, try and get past him on one of these hairpin overtakes. Regularly occurs, and if you're close enough, you can take advantage and get through. Everywhere else is a little bit tricky. Unless your name's Kurt Woodward, then you can go through on the chase. That was a massive move from Woodward when he went through on the chase and if anybody else is brave enough to do that, that is good stuff. That is very good stuff. Down they go though, heading through the Tony Aglan chase, in through that dipper now to the right hand to Downing, Weaver, Johnson, you one, two, three, 42, two to Downing, 42, three to Weaver, 43, four to Cale Johnson, just getting dropped off now. Up the hill they come once again. Still downing, not dropping Weaver. Weaver, staying with him. Through MG tires they go. On to Copperhead and back towards us. Then into GPE. Through GPE now. Onto the Tony Aglan chase. Through that little right hand, left hand kink and still flat out, remember. That's out through the right hander and down the hill, and then on the brakes into the hairpin. 41 1 to Downing, 41 0, and the quick lap of the race so far to Cohen Weaver. He is indeed meaning business. Downing, Weaver, Johnson. But Weaver is the man on the move, and again closing in on him. On Copperhead they go, back towards us. Through DPE. Down the hill. Here he goes, Johnson and Kale leaning hard into that corner. Flat out down there, Weaver right on the tail, still up downing into it. Jackson by design they go, now they turn on themselves and back up the hill they come. Still Weaver and Downing, one and two, but Downing holding at the moment. Weaver just bogged down, it's a 2.234 second lead at the moment. That's virtually nothing when they get to the tight stuff. Two MG tyres again, the line change for Weaver. He just reels him in through there, then has to hold on to him down Copperhead. Through TPE they go. Here comes Johnson. Just kisses that kerb while the leaders go down. Once again, Weaver gets the quick time. 40.665 now. Getting quicker and quicker. 
And I think he's really putting the pressure on Downing. Downing's going to feel it soon. Still 11 laps remaining. Plenty of time in this race. And Weaver is turning up the wick on him. Going to try and pressure him into a mistake. Or try to find a way through, round, over, under, whatever it takes. He will try to do it. Through DPE they go. Down the hill once again. Through the Tony Aglan chase. Here goes Johnson. What time's he got now? 41.286. This is quick time. He's in the 42s now. Still low. Downing. Oh, again, he bogged down, but no, so did Weaver. So did Weaver. That was his opportunity. And it was a good one, too. It could have just got away from him then. As they both bogged down. Coming through empty tyres. Now, look how close he is. He is right up his bumper in the slipstream as they both go through DPE flat out. Heading down the hill once more, and Weaver really is on his tail. Nine remaining into single digits. And Weaver trying everything. He's changing the lines everywhere now. Starting to really pressure him. And he knows he's there. Once again, he was hoping for the bog down. It didn't come. Downing continues. Kale goes through. Johnson then. 41. 835 that time. Wait 36 that time. While the leaders come up the hill on the back straight away now. Into MG tyres they go. Retro boys getting ready in the outgrid. The heavies will be up first for the heat two race. These guys are the warm up for them. Through DPE. Heading down Tony Aglin, the chase. Johnson coming through now. 41 7 that time, getting faster. And the leaders go through. Jackson by design, both of them just visibly slowing on the exit to the hairpin. But now they're back up to speed through retro cart in Australia. Right, two left. Whoa, again, Weaver showed the nose. Weaver went side by side. Didn't make the move though, but he showed him he was here. Then he strikes the curb. Any which way will do. He is trying everything. Weaver on the back. And Downing having to push. Downing, holding, holding. 41-1 to a 41 dead. Who goes? Johnson. Does he get close enough for a move at Jackson by design? No, he doesn't. Stays where he is. Still downing Weaver. Johnson, one, two, three, and these two still going at it. We're still six laps for this to continue. Downing's going to know he's been in a race in this one. He's had 15 laps of solid pressure. And there is no letter. Absolutely no let up. Webster we Weaver is giving him everything. Along Copperhead they go. Into GPE. Weaver weaving everywhere. Letting him know he's there. Shows the nose at every opportunity. Heading down through the right hand there is the Jackson Boys eye through to those. Johnson. 41, 636, another quicker lap for him. His quickest is 41 2, so a little bit to get to that. But Five remaining. This will be ten done. Weaver, right on the back of Downing. I think he's giving him a love tap or two to let him know he's there. And still he's on him. Oh boy, oh boy. There is absolutely nothing between these two. They are matching each other's time. Lap after lap. 40.6, 40.6 again. Whoa, look at the wide line there. Weaver. Suddenly threw it out really wide off the Tony Aglan chase. Did he try the slingshot? Oh, no, that didn't work. I think it was. I think he was trying the slingshot, and unfortunately, it's come to no avail. So he's gone back at least four car lengths. He's got to reel him in again. Up the hill they go. Downing, Weaver. Here comes Johnson. This is lap number 11, about to be completed, and four to go. Kale Johnson goes through MG tyres, then onto Copperhead. Oh, a bit of a slide there. The rear end stepped out on him. He's backing off now. You can see he's just got tired. Kale Johnson definitely tired, backed off, and was lifting through DPE. And that will be not conducive to a fast lap time. 41.858 last time round. 
but this one could be slower. Still Downing, Weaver, one, two. This is 12, three to go. Retros are gonna bring us home for the remainder of the day. For their heat two races, they are waiting in the wings. The stars of the show about to get ripped for heat number two. Well, Johnson continued to try and bring it home. 41.8, it was a little bit quicker actually, so lifting's working for him because he must be going faster somewhere else. Downing has been caught again with two to go. Weaver's with him. Weaver's caught him. Downing one, Weaver two, but now he's gonna have one last chance. One last chance with two laps of this race to go. He's caught him and now he's gonna pressure him or make something happen. He's gonna make it happen himself. He's gonna go late on the brake somewhere and be very brave about it. Oh, again, he tried, but it didn't work and he didn't lose anything. So again, Weaver showed, but didn't get it done. Downing holds, still he holds. It's been a race long battle. With a three lap, oh, he's gone side by side. Oh, they touch the done, and he gets away with it. Unbelievable, they touch, coming through there. Weaver, he had a go, it just didn't come off. And they see the last lap board. He's gonna get closer. He must get closer to make that same move. Up the hill they'll come any moment now while Kale heads through DPE. Kale Johnson will bring it home in third. Second in his class. These two are winning each class, but who gets the win on track? Weaver desperately wants it. Downing. She can look over the left shoulder. Will Weaver show the nose again? Weaver, side by side, he's got him. Weaver, he goes through. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Anger was Cohen. Weaver, second on track and winning his class. Angus Downing and second, Kale Johnson. <laughs> what a cracker finish. And well done. To Cohen Weaver, what a belter. That was a good move too. Great move on the inside of MG Tires, what a belter. So round of applause for Cohen when he comes in. Well done that man. He's already finished. Weaver one, Downing two, Johnson three. Back with the next live feed very soon on the Retro Karting Australia page.